Also tonight, the controversial crematory in Tonawanda will be staying closed. It is good news for neighbors living in the area, but they've been fighting to keep the doors closed at this place ever since it was shut down back in 2012 for a violation of environmental law. The people there had complained of a terrible odor and also horrible noises. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is live in downtown Buffalo tonight. Hannah, you just spoke with the crematory's owner. Yeah, and Keith and Ashley, it's a victory for residents, but a defeat for the owners of the Amagon Crematory in the town of Tonawanda. They were hoping after today's ruling they'd be able to reopen. But now they tell me they're going to continue to have to contract out their cremation work because they don't have their own facility. And it is a battle that's been going on between the state and Amagon for more than three years. Judge Ogden ruled today in state Supreme Court that Amagon needs to get a new state permit before legal proceedings can move forward. The crematory has been closed since 2012 when the state attorney general's office issued an assurance of discontinuance. Residents have long complained of strong odors and noises coming from the facility and were worried about it reopening. Now the company is forced to figure out its next step. The main reason I want a crematory and my sons and I want a crematory is so when we cremate somebody and we give the family their remains, we know who they got. Uh, by sending them out to uh, another crematory where maybe eight or nine are done in a few hours, uh, we have really no control over. We have to watch it a lot closer. Attorneys for Amagon say they are planning on filing an appeal. The company says it will continue to contract its work out for now. I did ask if it can move its crematory somewhere else, and at this point, Amagon tells me it cannot open another crematory right now because the cemetery board has denied it from moving. We'll stay on top of this story for you. We're live in downtown Buffalo tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.